Hello again. And today we're going to learn how to use the, the pencil tool or this tool on the left side here. It, it's the shape, it's the guy kind of the uh, of the pencil, quite obvious, but no worries. It's it, the pencil, we're going to use it as uh, a means to draw uh, your objects. But remember, on the upper portion here, it needs to be pressed on the ellipse button here, on the ellipse mode, so that you'll be able to create these kinds of strokes here. But remember, if you want this to be smooth, you just have to modify the smooth portion. You just modify, have to modify the smooth to a higher degree. It's just beside the shape, uh, the shape portion here. As you can see, if I make it that, uh, if I ma made a slight modification, it will. What will happen is it will be more. It will be more smoother. And another tip: if you try to. Uh, uh, if you try to make these kinds of shapes, uh, just remember uh, you don't have to worry about uh, making any crooked lines. You, all you have to do is just modify the smooth portion here. And we're just going to use the move tool so that we'll be able to move the objects from one place or the other. And no worries, I'm not going to do any serious uh, drawing today. I'm just going to show you some of the basics so that you'll get used to it. And also, uh, okay. We just made a few groupings here, so it will save you time from moving one place, uh, one portion of the, uh, one portion of the group to the other. But no worries, you can also still separate it if you just double click it, as you can see here. And there, you, you can also make duplications. You also have to just press the right click button. You can undo some of the actions you just made, or you can, uh, well, <laughs> group it again. And then you'll be able to move it from one place or the other. And you can make modifications. All you have to do is do the horizontal there. Uh, this one is a little bit uh, out of proportion. It's now looking like a crooked eye, creepy crooked looking face. Although it's really kind of creepy looking. So we're just going to make some modifications for this. So, uh, okay, I'm just going to press the group again. <laughs> Okay, now we just have to, we can also rotate it as any object that we I just discussed a while ago. No worries, uh, rotating objects is uh, quite universal and you'll be able to move it with the move tool as well. Okay, now as for this, you can also make the shape here. Uh, no worries, I'm just going to make some basic line shapes for now. I'm just not going to make any elaborations. We'll be doing some uh, complicated uh, works in later lectures but for now we're just going to do some basic uh, childlike drawings so that there won't be any <clears throat> any what do I call this uh, any hassle or any need for anything complicated but we just have to uh, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how it works but Okay, we're just going to... Well, it's alright. We can just add some eyes for this guy here. Alright. Okay, that's so... Uh, <laughs> okay, we're just going to fix that later on. But I'm just going to fix that later on. Uh, I'm just going to show you how it how it's uh, it was done. Well, you can also make a duplication for that. It, there's one trick that I can show you. You can duplicate one portion of the other side to make it symmetrical. In order to make, I mean, if you want to make this uh, symmetrical, we can duplicate the other side and then we're just going to flip it horizontally. Uh, that's one trick that I do in some of my work so that there will be, you know, there won't be any imbalancement from the other side or, or the other. It saves time. Although you can make it symmetrical or equal to each side, but if you're trying to save time, this is one hack that you can do for this one. Now we're just going to group this carefully. Okay, it's deadly. Okay, now we're just... Alright, it's... Uh, no, it's, it's, sometimes it happens uh, when you're trying to group it, it's uh, trying to group everything. So, uh, no worries on that. As you can see, there is some kind of symmetrical portion now on both sides of the eye. But that's one trick that I can show you so that you'll be able to save time and at the same time you can make a perfect symmetrical shape for the other. Now, let's uh, try to... 
And I'm just going to show you some of these, uh, dem some of the demonstration here of some of the, some of the other things that you can do with the strokes. Now, I'm just going to make a basic shape. Okay. I'm going to show you how to modify those, uh, those things. All you have to do is press the grid button there and then you'll be able to modify the shape as it is. As you can see, uh, some of the dots just appeared. So that's those are the markers that you can use in order to modify the line. As you can see, there is some kind of stick sticking out of the of the of the mouth of the dots. That's where you can modify the shapes to something a bit of a curvature or a bit of the <clears throat> of the curvature of or the straightness or the thickness of the lines you can do a lot of things with this uh, tool it's kind of handy really you can change shape although i can make this into a, a, into a better drawing but for now we're just going to show you some of the basic shapes it is it's for the beginners so as of now i'll see you in the next lecture and happy designing